Oh boy, the NFL draft just 11 days away. So many questions, so many possibilities. One that has nothing to do with the draft is being floated around. Colin Dunlap, Baker Mayfield won't be with Cleveland. You know that eventually. The question is if he's made available at the minimum, let's just say veteran minimum, if you are the Steelers, would you take him? Because I think they would in no way take him. Do you? No, I wouldn't touch him. I mean, the guy's trouble. He's too much trouble. Is he better than Mitch Trubisky? Probably, potentially. But look, they're, you're going to have to trade for him until the draft. The Cleveland Browns aren't going to release until after the draft. That being said, I don't think you give up anything, even a fourth-round pick for him. So, no. And look, at what point does do his troubles and his shortcoming become Baker Mayfield's fault? He seems to be the last guy in the world to ever blame himself. <laughs> and I just don't know if he would be someone you bring in. No, I say no. Well, I, I certainly don't envision the Steelers bringing him in. It certainly would not be a Steelers kind of transaction. I realize they have been much more aggressive in this offseason than we've probably ever seen from them. But I will say I do think he's more talented than any quarterback on their roster. I don't know that he's a terrible human being. I, I think he's got a big ego. I think he was drafted by a, a bad organization. Sometimes you get away from that, and, and maybe you blossom a little bit. If I didn't have to give up much to get him, Honestly, I would consider it, but I don't know that that will be the case. And I, I just don't see the Steelers doing it. It's just not something they're wired to do. And if I'm Mr. Trubisky, I certainly wouldn't like it very much either. If you want an organization to have a little bit of confidence in you, that wouldn't exactly be the answer. Well, I think the contract for Trubisky shows that the Steelers really aren't married to him at all. It's only $5 million Fair. in base salary. Right. I mean, that's, that's, that's backup quarterback money. I think from what I've been told, you know, there were no lies told to him pretty much up front. Hey, we might draft a guy in the first round. Do you still want to sign here? And he did. He wants to compete. He wants to show people that he can still play. You know, it's a very different question for me now in light of the Haskins tragedy. I don't want to trade for the guy. The Browns would not trade him to the Steelers. I don't think under any circumstance. They don't want their guy to go to their arch rival and have a rebirth there. And you wouldn't want to take on his $18 million salary either. But if he gets cut, and you can sign him for $1 million, which is the vet minimum, I think it becomes a different story, Bob. And part of me thinks that's why the Browns haven't cut him yet. You know, they could very easily release the guy and wash their hands of that situation. But Mary Kay Cabot, the Browns insider, said it. Florio said it again this week. If they like Sam Howell in the draft, then maybe they like the tools of uh, Baker Mayfield because they're very similar players, Bob. But the only thing I'm going to say is that they had everything in place for him to succeed. They had the best run game, one of them, in the NFL. They had a decent offensive line. They brought in guys like Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry, and yet they still, with him at the helm, couldn't get it done, Colin. I don't see a lot that I like about him. I think he was overdrafted to begin with. I didn't like when they took him number one overall, and now here they are. And now, from, again. From this day forward, from this day forward, Mitch Trubisky will have a better NFL career than Baker Mayfield. I would agree with that. That's what I think is going to happen. I, I mean, I, and I mean, it's not a homer take. That's just what I feel. They're going to put him in a position to have a better NFL career than Baker Mayfield, and Baker Mayfield will not gain traction anywhere else again. Baker Mayfield, the height of Baker Mayfield's career came in one night in Pittsburgh with a playoff win that started with Marquise Pouncey right. snapping the football 75 yards over someone's head. That was the height of his career. But I, but, but I agree with Josh. I think if he was on this roster, I don't like the guy personally either. He rubs me the wrong way. But I think if he was given an honest chance to beat out Trubisky for the starting job, he would. And, and the thing about his personality at this point now, he walked all over the Browns and he got Freddie Kitchens promoted and they were passing the ball when they should have been running the ball because they wanted to placate him. Tomlin has a reputation with Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, even Ben to some extent, of keeping these guys in check. And I just wonder if Tomlin would try to persuade whoever the next GM is or Colbert, hey, if you give me this guy, I can get him to go along with my plan. I can Those neutralize this. Those three guys were this. drafted, though, Andrew. Those three guys were drafted. They weren't brought okay. in here. Well, okay. If you feel if you feel like that's the difference, I think that top. Well, look, they brought Miles Jack in. They're starting to do things a little bit differently. They traded for Minka Fitzpatrick. I mean, maybe they're going to do more of this stuff now. I hope they do. I think we'd all be entertained by it. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the sports <laughs> business, you want to see these kinds yes. of things. I get that. Real quick, uh, I have like a minute left. Around the horn, Josh, you first. Will they take a quarterback in the first round? Yes or no? Real quick, why? 
No, I don't think they will. I think they have a lot of other holes, and I think they realize that. Andrew? No. I, or, oh, sorry, go, go I, I'll go. I, I think they'll take a cornerback, actually, and uh, mm. they'll actually take one that will succeed for once. So, no, they won't take <laughs> a quarterback. Wow. The last part's a bold uh, statement. Uh, yeah, I think right. it depends. No, I think they will draft one, yeah, because I think Malik Willis will get to a point in the first round where they will talk themselves in, into moving up four or five spots to take him. I think that they're that smitten by him. The fact that Tomlin went to the guy's pro day in Liberty tells me that it's not a smokescreen, and he is obsessed. He is fixated on the mobile quarterback, and Willis is the most mobile guy we've seen since Lamar Jackson. We'll take a break on that note. When we come back, we will talk about baseball, too. We have the Pirates. Over 500, not many people thought that would happen after they started the way they did in St. Louis. Plus, some interesting stuff that's happened in MLB this week. That's next, right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Show.